Right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is another day that the Lord has made. I'm so enough glad that I'm in it and we're able to come together and break bread as a family. I think the songwriter said, let us break bread together on our knees. Hallelujah. Uh, day number 10. And day 10 is, are you thirsty? Hallelujah. Give me a little background. All right. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me. As the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. This is the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 7, verse 37 through 38. Anyone, if you are thirsty, you qualify. Every believer, uh, rightful inheritance is having a heart overflowing with the living water of the Holy Spirit. Jesus sets forth this promise in his word. Do we have a desperate, aching, unspeakable thirst for Jesus? How thirsty are we? If we are already full of the lesser pleasures of this world, how can we really have an appetite for God? We must abandon ourselves to the pursuit of our God until the nature of Jesus is formed within us and his life flows out of us like a river. We must cry out in desperation for God's presence to be restored in our lives our churches and ultimately in our cities we must treasure the manifest presence of god because as jesus said in john 15 and 5 without me you can do absolutely nothing uh three pair prayer points jesus please salt my life and give me an unquenchable thirst for your presence hallelujah forgive me for pursuing the pleasures of this world give me a heart that is abandoned to you lord form your nature in me until i become a river of a river of living water to those around me uh the scripture speaks in um metaphors um it uses anthropomorphic imagery a word to explain or show spiritual truths. And it talks about or refers to the Holy Spirit as water. I um, know if you um, play track or football, some type of sports where you've been running all day, the sun is out, and you get so thirsty that you can feel um, um, woozy. And you get thirsty when you become desperate. You, 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 what, what, it's been times we've been so thirsty we'll just drink out of someone's holes on the side of the house um we'll take a a cup that's not even so sanitary and 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 we'll put water in there so we can quench our thirst when you get thirsty or hungry for something it brings out your desperation those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled hunger and thirst was designed to, to pull you out your comfort zone to bring out uh your your survival instincts when your back is against the wall that's when you find out how you're wonderfully and fearfully made you can do amazing things when your mind is made up and when you make up your mind that i'm so thirsty that i must quench my thirst you will go beyond uh your your natural limitation and you will go into a supernatural realm where you would do anything and everything to survive, to obtain the promise. The Lord is saying if we will be thirsty for him, we will get we will be filled with him. Last example I'm gonna give is uh, I think it's Ezekiel 48. Is it 48? I think it's Ezekiel 48. It talks about the living, the healing waters on how the prophet Ezekiel was in this body of water, but it came up to his ankles. 
And then the wave went back and it came back and it came up to his knees. And then it came up to his waist. And then the last wave it came, it was an unmeasurable amount of water that it overtook him. And it's something about like when you're in a pool, when you're in the baby pool, you can walk around and you still got control. You can walk around and, and jump around and play. And if the water comes up to your knees, you still got power to walk around and move and have your being. Even if it's up to your waist, you can walk around and you still got control. But when you're in a body of water that's unmeasurable and has a strong current, that current takes you where it wants you to go. You have no more control. And we want to get to a place where the Holy Ghost can take us where he wants to go. Because we are no longer in control. That's when the Holy Spirit can do mighty acts and wonders. That's when he reveals the mysteries of God, the character of God, the supernatural power of God. It's in that immeasurable amount of water that by his stripes we are healed. That we, that we walk as powerful kingdom citizens. That's when God can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask according to the power that worketh within us. How many wants to be in that unmeasurable body of water? I know I do. Father, we thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you that we uh, were blessed to open our eyes another day of grace. Pray that uh, we would maximize this opportunity of life. Um, Father, we and and maximizing this this brand new window of opportunity. Father, we choose to spend our time, set aside our time. We purpose to use this amount of grace to seek your face. Father, we are desperate or our desire is to be desperate. So we're going through this journey of emptying ourselves out. Paul said, I decrease that you may increase. Father, we're decreasing, anticipating an increase of your love, an increase of your grace, an increase of you communing with us, speaking to us, speaking through us. Father, for me, my desire, my, my, the blessing that I desire is a greater communion with you. Father, I'm in, a, I'm, I'm in a situation where I need you in my marriage. Lord God, I'm in a situation where I need your wisdom to, to uh, live this life. I need your wisdom to deal with my, my neighbors, my, my family, my children. I need, your, I need your love to be more, to have more empathy. Um, I need your... I need your fellowship to be greater in my fellowship with my brethren. Um, Lord, we've gone through seasons where we've been alienated and comfortable and keeping to ourselves. And Lord God, is you've been calling us further to stretch ourselves out, to be more visible, to be more tangible. So, Father, we need your grace to, to do your will. And, 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 and for increase of your grace, I need a greater thirst. So, Father, I am putting myself out there to show you my heart. I'm putting myself out there to show you my desire. And, the, and Psalms 37 says this, if I trust in you, if I commit my way unto you, that if I would delight in you, you would give me the desires of my heart because my desire will turn into your desire and I pray that prayer will be everyone's mantra that, that that will be everyone's intent those who are on this journey that I would that our desires would be your desires and that your will be done that your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven and we give you all the glory and the praise in Jesus name Amen Amen God bless you